in our discussion and introduction to the deals all the reaction we said that our reaction mechanism for the deals all the reaction is a one step concerted mechanism now the question that we go we're going to explore in this lecture is how are we so certain why are we so certain that the reaction is via a one-step mechanism and not for example a two-step unconcerted mechanism so we're basically going to analyze we're going to compare the one-step mechanism to the two-step mechanism and see why the one-step mechanism is the correct mechanism for the deals all the reaction so let's begin with analyzing what a potential two-step mechanism might actually look like so let's suppose we take our simple alkene our dienophile and our 1,3-diene uh, our 1,3-butadiene in this case so one way in which they can react is in the following manner so one of the electrons in this pi bond and one of the electrons in this pi bond basically interact to form our single sigma bond while the second electron in this bond is left on this carbon and the second electron in this bond is left on this carbon now we form this intermediate which is resonant stabilized in the following way this electron and one of the electrons in the pi bond form our pi bond here and this is left here and the second electron basically remains on this and carbon now the second step to this two-step mechanism is these two electrons because they're in close proximity basically interact those atomic orbitals interact to form our final product the cyclohexene so notice that this is a two-step mechanism that involves intermediates that are resonance stabilized so we have two intermediate diradicals but really the actual molecule is an intermediate between these two resonance structures now recall when we discussed our one-step concerted mechanism it looked something like this so we basically have our dienophile react with the 1,3 butadiene basically this full pi bond forms a single bond this goes on to here and this also forms our single bond in a one-step mechanism forming our cyclohexene so the question is how do we know that this does not take place but this does take place this is what we want to answer in this lecture well one thing that we should recall about intermediates is whenever a reaction takes place in which intermediates are involved there's always a possibility for other reactions to compete with this reaction in other words because we form this intermediate this intermediate instead of reacting in this this manner can react in some other manner forming some other product but we know that from experimental results only the cyclohexene is always formed in this reaction and so we might conclude that the reason the cyclohexene always forms is because it is a one-step mechanism now that argument is not exactly correct because we can give a counter argument we can say that the reason these intermediates don't react to form other products is because either the activation energy is too high for that other reaction or the other reaction forms a very unstable product so although it is tempting to say that the reason it's a one the reason we only form the cyclohexene is because we have a one-step mechanism that's not entirely correct because the counter argument tells us that well maybe the reason the cyclohexene is always formed is because the other products that come from these intermediate diuraticals are simply too unstable to actually exist and we only see this cyclohexene 
Now, the actual way that science has basically proved experimentally that this reaction, the one-step mechanism, is correct is by conducting an, experimental, an, an experiment that deals with stereochemistry. So basically, one way that we can actually test experimentally which mechanism is correct is by testing whether or not stereochemistry is preserved in our reaction. Action. So, what do we mean by that? Well, let's take a look at the following two reactants. Let's suppose that we take our 1,3-butadiene and now we take our simple alkene and we label it. So we basically remove two of our H atoms and we replace them with deuterium atoms. So we have two deuterium atoms that are found on the same side and two H atoms that are found on the same side. So this is our cis alkene. Now, if the mechanism uh, is a mechanism that involves two steps, we form the following intermediate. So that is shown in the following diagram. Now notice, because this bond is basically free to rotate, it can rotate about this axis. And as it rotates, it changes the stereochemistry. So in this case, we have the D pointing along the same plane. In this case, we have the Ds pointing along the same plane, but in opposite directions. And now we see that when our bond is formed and these two electrons form the pi bond, we can form the cis in this case, but in this case, we form the trans. And so if the two-step mechanism is actually correct experimentally, we should be able to observe not only the cis, but also our trans. So if the two-step mechanism occurs, then our sigma bond can actually rotate and that scrambles the stereochemistry of our products. So if we begin with a cis alkene, we can produce a cis and a trans. However, what scientists saw experimentally is if we begin with a cis, we only get a cis. And if we begin with a trans alkene, we always get back the trans product. So that basically implies that the one step mechanism is the correct one because only the one step mechanism preserves the stereochemistry of our molecule. So if we begin with the cis via the one step mechanism, we only produce the cis. And if we begin with the trans, we only produce the trans. So, however, we know experimentally that the stereochemistry of the product always matches that of our alkene, the dienophile, and this means that the one-step mechanism is actually at play and not the two-step mechanism. So we know that whenever the deals or the reaction takes place, whatever the stereochemistry of this alkene is, the initial uh, reactant, the product has the same exact stereochemistry. The cyclohexene produced always has the same exact stereochemistry because this is a one-step mechanism.